So once we've given children a lot of activities and a lot of experience in developing that sense of five, that five anchor, and we start to transition them uh, into seeing uh, five and then some more, the next uh, logical step is to start developing their ten anchor. Uh, this isn't something that needs to, that, that should be rushed. Children really need time to really develop uh, that, their sense of five and as well as developing their sense of ten. And it's important that we really lay out the foundations uh, f for this. So if we really want to work on strategies, on giving children strategies and developing their number sense. So here we have um, the ten frame cards. We use it in other activities. So once uh, they're familiar with 10 frame cards, they've used some of the activities in, from prior lessons. What we can have them do is we can have them uh, give us 10 facts. And again, 10 facts are similar to the 5 facts, but 10 facts are um, how much is needed to complete the 10 frame, or, or how much is less um, than, how much this number is less than the number 10. So for example, uh, how many more do we need to complete this 10 frame? Well, this number is, of uh, looking at it, it's 5 and 1, so it's 5, 6. So 6 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 10. Or 10 minus 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 6. So the two things that we can have kids do uh, when they give us the 10 facts, they can, uh, we can have them work on the addition first, on how many more we need to complete the 10 facts, or how many spaces are missing, how many spaces um, are, are taken away from the 10 facts. So here we have four spaces missing, so 10 minus 4 equals 6. So once kids have developed that, you know, and I would strongly encourage you having them use counters to really complete the 10 fact first before just verbally doing it. So here it's, it's 5 and 6. 6 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Or 10 as a whole minus 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 6. Here we have the number 4. And a rule we want to um, let kids know, I've said this in another lesson also, is there's only one counter per uh, per box. And also the second thing is we always make sure that uh, one row is filled in before we work on the next row. So for example, this is the number 4. 4 and 1 is 5. That completes the first row, um, that first 5 set, right? And 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 10. So we have the number 4 that we started with plus 1 plus 5 is 6. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. Or 10 minus 6 equals 4. The next thing we have is number 3. So again, uh, we're completing the first row. 3 and 2 completes the first row. 2 and then 1 two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus seven equals ten. Or ten minus seven equals three. Now once children have become familiar with this, and they can just look at it, and they can say, you know what, 7 uh, plus 3 equals 10, 10 minus 3 equals 7. You know, eventually we'll get them to that point. You know, it'll be probably using a combination of the 10 frames, uh, as well as other activities that uh, they'll be including to develop um, 10 anchors. But we want to give them a wide range of activities and experiences, and once they've developed that sense of 10, uh, they'll be able to look at this and they'll be able to just look at the card and say, you know what, 5 and 2 is 7, so 7 plus 3 equals 10, and then 10 minus 3 equals 7. You know, so it'll become a little bit more automatic with them. And, and
then basically what we'll do is we'll, have, we'll continue on with um, those 10 facts until it's, it's automatic because what we're trying to develop is that sense of um, not only develop their number sense, not only give them uh, a tool to visualize um, that sense of 10, but also we want them to um, become more automatic in some of those basic number operations.